Our hope is to get that down as far as, far as we possibly can. There's a long, dark road ahead. That was the realistic message from the health experts on the U.S. Coronavirus Task Force as they unveiled their grim expectations. They had between 1.5 million and 2.2 million people in the United States succumbing to this virus without mitigation. Yet through their detailed studies and showing us what social distancing would do, what, people, what would happen if people stayed home, what would happen if people were careful every day to wash their hands and worry about touching their faces, that what an extraordinary thing this could be if every American followed these. And it takes us to that stippled mountain that's much lower, a hill actually, down to 100 to 200,000 deaths, which is still way too much. New York is still the epicenter of this outbreak, accounting for half the cases and half the deaths in the United States. And things are set to get worse there. The state's governor says the peak of the outbreak, its apex, is between 7 to 21 days away. And the main battle is at the apex. We're still going up the mountain. The main battle is on the top of the mountain. That's where the main battle is going to be, the apex of the curve. New York says it still needs 17,000 ventilators. The governor accused the White House of monopolizing the supply from China. The fear here expressed at the White House is that what we're seeing in New York today could become a reality in small towns and big cities across the United States. A lot has to be done to avoid a public health catastrophe. Nathan King, CGTN at the White House.